Hello, hello. Today we're going to have a look at Keypad++, a macro keypad made for Chinese market only. Everything is in Chinese, so we're going to struggle a little bit. But it is a pretty interesting device with a lot of features. Unfortunately, spoiler alert, it's not working very well. Some functions are not working very well. I have opened already and I had a go with it. Um, so it's being supplied for screwdriver, a keycap uh, removal tool and USB type C cable. No manual, no flyer, nothing. This is the actual device. It's having three small knobs and one big one and 12 keys along with um, LCD screen RGB keycaps like you can see there are some marks on the case and the overall shape of the product is not marvelous I was tempted to believe that they sent me already used product the um, knobs are not sitting very well. This one is staying a little bit better. All of them are rotary encoders with push button. So let's have a overview. This is the Type-C port, on-off button and the USB Type-A female connector for mouse input nothing else uh, we have a screen I think the this enclosure is 3D printed or resi printer we have three, three small knobs and a big one and 12 keycaps brown keycaps I'm going to try to connect this keypad for the first time and see what happens. So unfortunately this is the software. The device has been found. However the interface is really really poor. I have installed the provided software on the um, on the tablet. I'm going to have some problems because it's full uh, full Chinese and it's not uh, scaling properly okay but before going to the software uh, part of the video let's have a look on the the keypad menu so it's booting as you can see the keypads are rgb it's not doing anything yet because it hasn't been configured in order to access the menu we need to keep uh, knob 0 pressed for more than 5 seconds and now we can access the menu the keyboard is having 4 layers from 0 to 3 RGB are turning off for, for the moment we can choose the connection through Bluetooth or USB we can set up the sleep time RGB brightness I will set it up to light when we're going to turn it on RGB speed set to slow this menu it's indicating what the screen will display so we have battery, mouse busy time and pretty much that was it splash screen so when the keypad is booting, system set, I don't know what is this. If we want to restart it, and mode, we have test, game, offline, online. In order to work, it needs to be on offline, and pretty much that's it. I think this is for how long you're going to keep the knob one pressed in order to access this menu. 
okay let's restart it by pressing yes so now we are seeing the battery displayed if we are changing it to mouse let's see what happens we're going to see the mouse position so what else we have here we have the time as well and the busy let's keep it on busy so this was the keypad menu at the moment it's not doing anything because it hasn't been configured so let's try to configure it I think we should add it as a bluetooth device on our tablet so we have the bluetooth symbol on the screen and I will add a new device ok we can see it here HID keypad plus plus the bluetooth symbol is not grey anymore and is being connected cool so here we have some buttons the first one is save second one seems like a gaming something third one is to download the settings to the keypad fourth one is for uploading the settings from the keypad to the computer this is the RGB setup and this is clear so it's gonna clear these are the layers from 0 to 3 and then we have the keypad with the screen 3 small knobs and the big one and 12 uh, caps by clicking on the screen we can choose whatever logo we want for each one of the screens so if I want to change the logo for layer 0 I'll press on this button and I can choose a picture layer button is not doing anything at the moment but as soon as it's gonna be connected to the Bluetooth it will work okay so Bluetooth is connected and now we can switch the layers in between them and now we can see the busy busy graph here as well yeah so if I'm switching in between the layers the load is changing cool let's set up layer 3 ok so if I want to set up if I want to set up layer 3 I'm gonna select layer 3 from this drop down box we're going to set up layer, layer 3 as media and we can actually rename the knob so I'll put media and this is the, the big, uh, big knob is gonna be the volume okay. I'll increase the font size 16 in order to set up the volume of this big knob computer volume I need to select the knob you can select each one of the buttons so I will select the knob and for the knob we have a drop down box here which is gonna show us left to right so when you turn the, le the knob clockwise anti-clockwise click I will set up the volume so I'll go I will select the clockwise and then here on the right hand side we have some icons and I'm gonna go to the media icons this is the media icon I will open it okay and I will select the button so I think this is the volume map okay then I will select the anti-clockwise which is this I'm gonna go again to the volume to the media and I will select volume down and for the push I will choose the the mute button which is this one okay let's download this okay let's give it a try so volume down 
volume up mute volume up okay so okay this was the volume settings let's try something else okay let's play with the macros now and the first button is macro recording let's play with that double click on the first button then we have a symbol camera symbol we're going to click on that and record our macro so let me go to windows cmd from command prompt and then ip config enter and that's it okay record all of our movements on physical button number one and now I'll download this on the keypad and see if it works okay I'll click press the button okay alrighty so okay see it's working let's try again I'm gonna press it again and open a new yeah a new window and it's gonna do it again all right let's press five times one two three four five let's see if it's gonna be able to open another five windows okay let's program the second button to close these windows so second button record okay no so okay let's download this And now open six windows or seven and then close them one two three four five six and one okay it open these six pages but the second set the second row of command didn't work so I'll press it again but I can see that the mouse is not moving let me press it again it's doing something I think he's recording the click but he didn't record the movement so let's see the buttons from the software that are they are displayed on the box as well so we start with the first one is macro recording so I'm not really sure how how is this working but I know that you can record certain movements of the mouse and certain key keyboard sequences and then you can play them later by pressing a button then we have button pressed button released button pressed and released key swap I don't know what this this how is this working this is a timing function which I don't know how, how to use it uh, click down release the click is this middle click probably I'm not sure it's same like this one which I don't know what it is this is the wheel mouse movement recording another mouse related movement uh, shortcuts control V control S and etc message username and password input media buttons when the keypad is pressed media button when the key is released and I think this is when it's pressed for only once this may be the layers I don't know what is this RGB color RGB on off 
this could be application related home surface deal I think it's emulating the Microsoft Surface MIDI which I don't know how it's being used thank you for watching hope you're enjoying it and any question please leave them in the comment section below I'll try to answer them